Hey guys, Christian Seaball from Motortrend here with Kim Reynolds. The Tesla Cybertruck was just unveiled and everyone's talking about how it looks, but the most important thing is what's underneath the skin. So, I mean, can you tell me, Kim, a little bit about what's powering the... At this point, the drivetrain is a two-motor setup, basically the latest Model S's uh, Raven, they call it, which uh, uses the large rear motor plus the a front... and rear Model 3 motor. Model 3 motor. Right plus what is, has been the rear motor of the Model 3 in the front. It's kind of an interesting combination we're already seeing and have driven with the Model S, but now it's being applied here. So that's, that's the drivetrain they'll start out with, two motors, all-wheel all drive. Tesla's not talking horsepower or torque right now, but based on our math, it makes about 690 horsepower and 824 pound-feet of torque combined front to rear. The range numbers they've talked about are two numbers, right? Right, 250 for the standard battery pack and 450 for the stacked battery pack. The idea there is there'll literally be two of them, one on top of the other. So it, it basically is like you want twice the range, boom, here you go, here's another battery pack. Construction-wise, it, it's unibody, which is rare for pickups. It is, in this case, this uh, stainless steel skin is being attached to some kind of frame, yeah. frame underneath, right. which may be stamped out and welded together like a unibody, but not exactly a, a complete unibody where the body panels are stress bearing and it's all one piece. Another interesting thing about the batteries, in traditional Teslas it's a skateboard, it goes across the whole platform, in the Cybertruck it's different though. Yeah, it uh, stops short ahead of the rear axle, and the reason for that is that occupying some of that space is a big cylindrical area where the cover, the tonneau, yeah, it's like a garage right? door, or garage door, door opener style. that rolls up and covers the entire bed. Mm -hmm. So it's made up of a lot of little slats. What's interesting about it is it's not the negative it would first, first appear to be because for a, a truck that has a certain payload requirement or expectation, right. you don't want the battery too far back. So it does leave room for this. Thing. Yeah, you're gonna want weight up front to counter out any trailer you might be towing behind you. Tow capacity is also about 14,000 pounds, also more than an F-150. Frankly, I don't necessarily know how they're doing that. This all is sort of a prelude to the, the next drivetrain that right. would be coming down the line. And that's one motor up front, if I'm not mistaken, and then two in the back. Two in the back, and it's what has been doing laps around the Nürburgring recently uh, in a developed a version of a high performance version of the Model S, but it's, a, it's the upcoming high performance drivetrain. And I do wonder personally if they're going to be close together. I think Rivian did that. Uh, they pack them close together so that along the center line of the, of the design so that the half shafts can be as long as possible and suspension arms can be as long as possible for wheel travel. That's something that you really want. I suspect Tesla is doing the same thing with the Plaid drivetrain. Yeah, it'd be foolish to not future-proof it for the upcoming powertrain. That's trains. exactly what it is.